Hey guys, Justin again from GuitarMadeEasy.com and this video is actually a uh, video response to a comment that I had uh, yesterday on one of my videos about chord, transi chord transitions, stuff like that. Uh, here's the comment. Uh, it's from Night Abraxas. I like your beginning advice, but I'm really confused as to why you were saying that G and D chord share a finger position, because they don't. I'm a total beginner, but this is how I learned. He tells me then how he plays his G and how he plays his D. Uh, let's see here, and then where does this anchor finger come in? I'm so confused. They share no similar finger positions whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to answer that for you. Uh, so if we look at my guitar, all right. If you can see my fretboard, let me angle this camera a little bit better. Okay, so G, D, G, D. This finger is on there the whole time. It's not moving. All the fingers are moving around it. But look, this ring finger, which is on the third fret B string, stays in the same position. When I play my G, and when I play my D, okay? So G, look where it is, same place. Stays there, doesn't come off the fretboard, stays right on that fretboard. Now I make my D and it's in the same place. There we go, see? So the fingers, all my other fingers are moving around that, they're pivoting around that uh, when they go to the next chord. So uh, just like the lesson, it talks about pivot fingers and it makes it really easy to transition from your chords. That's a big thing that I did when I first started off playing was I found a way to use my pivot fingers so I could go from, um, so I could make my transitions a lot easier going from you know a G to a D or a C to an A minor and uh, so on. So if you have any more questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them uh, in video form. And uh, I will see you guys on the next lesson. Take care. See ya.